everybody, hope you're well. I recently did a review of this, which is the Hollyland wireless microphone system. So you have a unit here which is the receiver, and it has a cable from that that will plug into whichever device you're using it from, your phone, your camera, your adv adventure camera, whatever. And then you have two small clip-on microphones that come in a cell charging case and these will run up to eight hours and it'll ch this case will charge them um, up to three times and that's been great and uh, if you haven't seen that video I'll put a link up here so you can check it out. It comes in a case and you can buy the various connections to it. Now that video obviously did really well for Holland and they've produced a brand new one this Lark C1 for specifically for iPhones and this one's actually been approved by Apple so it's not an additional it, you don't get the apps coming up and asking you to do various things or it doesn't say this device is unidentifiable by Apple and not supported this one is actually supported and um, it's another really clever device I don't know if they're actually out on the market yet at the time of filming this I haven't had any more information but have a look in the description below and I'll update that and give you any links to any um, websites or prices or anything else about them. But it's another very clever unit and if you're into Instagram, YouTube or just general social media and you use an iPhone for everything, this is a great idea. Same concept, rechargeable, there's a socket on the bottom there and you can charge this up and this again will run the microphones which are the same microphones up to eight hours but this one has this adapter in and this adapter fits straight in to the bottom of your iPhone like that and that's the receiver this is not rechargeable it takes the power out of your phone and it has a socket on the side and it's not to charge this it enables you to put power through this into your phone to charge your phone when you're actually using the receiver but it's nice and small, plugs straight into that, and then as it comes out the box, it switches itself on as you plug it in, and these switch the self on as well. And there's two microphones, so you can obviously use it for two people, or you just leave the other one in the box, and uh, you just use the one for the one you want to go out and use. Um, they do come with the old dead mouse fluffy bits. And uh, if you saw my other video, I was so annoyed with another company and a microphone and I was so pleased to see these are so much better. So these are actually have a rubber casing that actually fit onto the microphone and stop the wind noise. There's a button on the side there, that's noise reduction, but everything else is automatic. There's nothing you need to do with this, but there's a noise reduction button on this as well. And the distance you can get from these is quite considerable. I think it's something like 50 metres or even 100 metres. Um, but they work really well um, for what the size of them are. And it's so you so compact when you actually plug it into your phone. So you can leave it in your phone, leave that clipped on, with it lasting eight hours. If you're going to go out and do some filming, you don't have to keep thinking about switching it on and switching it off. Many times you'll do something like this and you'll forget to actually switch the microphone on so you record everything with no actual audio. So um, let's take them two out. They were starting to fight and go through my camera bag. Oi! What are you doing? We'll take them two out for a walk and uh, we'll test it. <laughs> they've just woken up, they've been for a walk this morning, they've had a sleep in the van and now they've had a treat and now they want to go for a wander again. Don't you? Gonna go out? Do you want to go out? So all the audio on this is going to be on the microphone I've just shown you, the clip on mic. And uh, <laughs> you're not going to get very nice views today. As he has a wee before we set off. There's the microphone there, just clipped on there, just clipped on my jacket. So let's see how good it works. You can see for miles over there, you can see out to sea. You can see Runswick Bay and Whitby and over there you can see over to the top of Farndale <laughs> and you can just about see the van. Come on you two, come on. Rosie's full of it. Believe me, normally it's a beautiful walk around here and there's uh, nobody about we weather like this. Finally stopped raining, we've had rain 
overnight and most of yesterday really but now it's finally stopped raining and uh, we've just got cloud set that up on a tripod and the audio I'm using is from the microphone it's not from this action cam how far away is that 25 meters hopefully it's still working I've got me back to the camera as well as you can see but uh, we're a fair old distance away now in fact we're possibly disappearing in the fog well, it's a good job these new iPhones are still waterproof <laughs> it's a bit misty and damp today now I've taken the microphone unit out so that's the microphone unit We call this American Werewolf in London weather. I don't know if you've seen the film, but it was supposed to be filmed in the Yorkshire Moors. It was actually filmed in Wales. <laughs> there's a scene at the beginning where there's two guys from America walking across the Yorkshire Moors and they go to a pub and they walk in a pub and it's misty and the full moon. And the guy says to them, whatever you do, Stay off the moor on the path and be aware of the moon. I think these are the only werewolves we're going to find today. So, I'm stood out in the blowing a gale trying to test this microphone for you. Hopefully you can hear me and there's not too much wind noise. But I reckon it's about 25 mile an hour winds today. And as you can see the weather's not the best. But uh, the microphone hopefully is working great and we'll see how that performs as we play this back. So if you're interested in getting good audio for your iPhone and you're using it for Instagram or using it for YouTube or any of the social media side of things or you're just making home movies for yourself and you want rid of that horrible wind noise and good quality sound, this device works really well. And with it plugging into the side of your phone, it means it's easy to carry. So you don't have to carry tripods around with you and separate cameras. When I do my Instagram posts, I do everything on my camera. My camera is on my iPhone and it's an iPhone 13 Max and um, the cameras on that are just brilliant for still pictures and for video but the wind factor and the noise of the wind is awful without having some sort of external microphone and this unit being approved by Apple being able to plug straight into the actual uh, phone enables you just to put it in your pocket and take it with you and with the microphone lasting up to eight hours you don't have to worry about switching it on and switching it off because what can happen is you go out you do your filming and it's so annoying when you get back and you've realized you hadn't switched your microphone on you've got no audio so then you're in a position trying to do a voiceover or there goes another car a voiceover or having to refilm everything again but you generally don't find out till you get to the editing point. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. As I say, this is probably a prototype and it's not on the market as yet as I'm doing the filming. But as soon as I get some information about it, I'll put it all in the description below. The prices, where you can get it from and any other technical information that comes with it. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Have more for a cup of tea. Bye. Mm -hmm.